Now, uh, I have the honor to introduce Wu Hongbu, Under Secretary General for Economic and Social Affairs at the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs. And Mr. Wu took up his post uh, in August, and as a career diplomat, he brings outstanding coordination, negotiation skills, and a rich and extensive experience with multilateral organizations. So, that includes, of course, international conferences like the one today. So please, Dr. Wu. Thank you, Peter. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Let me begin by congratulating Mr. Hogram on his appointment as CIFR's new Director General. My congratulations also go to the members of the Collective Partnership on Forests, CPF, for building on the past experiences and the successes of a forest today. I also would like to take this opportunity to express our deep appreciation to our host, the state, and the people of Qatar for their support. This is the sixth Forest Day during the United Nations Climate Change Conference. By joining forces with the partners in agriculture and rural development, we are recognizing how forests provide broader and more meaningful solutions for the sustainable world within a living landscape. This broader vision for forests actually provides a one-of-a-kind platform. It allows meeting, it allows for in-depth cross-sectorial discussions that makes the forests part of the solutions in meeting sustainable development challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> Our world's forests are facing increasing unprecedented stresses today. The challenges require us to go beyond focusing on a single value of a forest alone. We need to balance the economic, social, and the environmental values of the forests. We must make a broader system-wide perspective. We must embrace the interconnections between agriculture, forest, water, energy, biodiversity, people, and their livelihoods. With this in mind, I would like to share with you a few key points about the forest agenda from the United Nations perspective. First, I would like to focus on the economic dimensions of forests. These include their cash and non-cash values. A key focus of a discussion during the 10th session of the United Nations Forum on Forests that will take place in Istanbul, Turkey next April. Well, we recognize the forests contribute to sustainable development their benefits and the values are often 
not fully understood. Formal caste contributions of a forest to developing economies are at 326 billion US dollars. This is more than twice the size of the total official development assistance, ODA. Non-cash contribution, which include livelihood needs drawn from forests, are also critical. But they are almost invisible in national accounting. If we take these contributions into account, the total economic contributions of a forest in the developing world are estimated to be more than six or eight times the ODA flows to these countries. In addition, forests contribute significantly to sustainable development through their cross-sectorial linkage. For example, forests contribute to agriculture through the provision of fresh water. Agriculture uses 70% of the global fresh waters, which forests help conserve and protect. Another example is access to energy. Over 80% of the total energy consumption in many developing countries comes from few woods. Globally, 2.7 billion people rely on few woods and charcoal at their primary, as their primary source of energy. These cross-sectorial benefits of forests are often not recognized. Yet, they are of critical importance to people's lives and the livelihoods. Second, I consider it very important for us to take into account the findings of the collect collaborative partnership on forest advisory group on finance, AGF 2012 study. The study provides the state of a forest finance at various levels and from various countries. I will draw your attention to the geographic, thematic, and the data gaps that are underlined in the study. I also wish to underscore the critical decrease of financial resources to address these gaps. Let me point to a few aspects. For example, we convene Forest Day 6 in part of the world dominated by dry land forests. Yet they, together with other low forest coverage countries, LFCCs, and the small island developing countries, SEEDS, do not receive adequate funding to ensure that the forests are managed sustainably. IEDDs plus funding go mainly to tropical forest country, cover for countries to help mitigate emissions from the deforestation and the forest degradation. No single solution can address the need for forest 
financing by linking the research to the policies and working hand in hand with the partners, we can mobilize actions from all stakeholders. We can jointly de devise supportive and complementary initiatives to resolve the forest finance challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, I also like to take this opportunity to highlight two ongoing processes that aim at reshaping the United Nations development work and that will have impact on how we move the forest agenda forward. The first is the follow-up to the recent Rio Plus 20 conferences, which articulated a far-reaching vision. It is our responsibility to help turn that vision into reality. In this regard, the General Assembly has been addressing a number of issues, including promoting agreements on sustainable development goals, known as SDGs, developing a facilitation mechanism to disseminate eco-friendly technologies and adopting a 10-year framework for programs to encourage sustainable consumption and production patterns. At real, member states also reconfirmed their unswerving commitment to sustainable forest management. Here, Forest Day 6 provides a constructive entry point to follow up on Rio Plus 20 outcomes. It demonstrates integrated action from the forest and agriculture communities in support of the sustainable natural resources management in the context of a sustainable development. Ladies and gentlemen, the implementation of the United Nations Millennium Development, development Goals, MDGs, will reach the end by 2015. Before then, MDG will remain foremost on our collective agenda. With only three years remaining, the United Nations has embarked on the preparations for the post-2015 UN Development Agenda with the sustainable development at its core. UNDESA is co-leading the UN task force charged with the planning together with UNDP. An important test of our resolve to build the future we want will be measured in how successfully we strengthened our cooperation from both within the United Nations system and with our developing partners. Ladies and gentlemen, Forest Day has made historic, historic progress in helping to raise the awareness of forests within the climate change agenda, inspiring visionary changes and integrated initiatives 
towards a more sustainable pathway. As we continue to grapple with the multiple challenge, we need, above all, continue the leadership and commitment. The choices we make now all shape our history and our world. I wish you all success as you chart the journey ahead. Please rest assured that DESA of the United Nations and through the UNFF will stand by ready all the time to support your work. Thank you very much. Thank you.